It's a cinnamon, there's a cinnamon crunch and then strawberry waffle. From the San Diego Shore. July 14th. Christy and I hopped on a plane to Colorado. We were bursting with excitement. It had been a long week for the both of us, and we couldn't wait to see our friend Isa. Christy, are you excited? <laughs> Hello! Where's our sign? Watching this guy with flowers bring it to his girlfriend. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Colorado is such a lovely place. There were open fields, almost like prairies. Other parts were green and lush. Wherever we went, I was happy to be surrounded by nature unlike the city. This trip's main purpose was to unplug and spend quality time with the ones I loved. And of course, like most bonding moments, it included food, mostly cheese, good conversation, and a few glasses of wine. Our first night in Colorado was spent doing just that. What, what did you hide? <gasps> oh, oh, snacks. Oh, she knows us so well! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Have you ever tried um, the spicy version of these? Ooh, no. Do you have actually those? No. Ooh, what kind of cheese did you get us? Is it okay? What is this? Let's see. Ooh, Asiago with rosemary. Ooh, I love this. This is like one of my favorites, Manchango. That would be How much do you think I'm actually going to drink? <laughs> the whole bottle. Cheers. July 15th. We woke up in Isa's quaint new apartment with the sun beaming on us. Hey, and I morning. was still tired. <laughs> I just woke up. It's our first day. I'll take you on our day. But first, I'm going to take a nap. God bless your soul. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we finally got ready. We're going out for our first day. Oh, I'm sorry I took so long. No. I'm I'm just vlogging. This is what vacation's about. It's relaxing. I don't think they understand the concept. So let me introduce you guys to my friends. <laughs> Isa and Christy, hey. the coolest girls you'll ever know. Look at her, strutting it. <laughs> this is Isa's place. We ventured out to Boulder, where a slew of farmer's markets crowded the local park. As we explored, we stumbled upon a Dushambi tea house. It was beautiful. The details on the ceiling and roof reminded me of one similar to Morocco. I couldn't help but relish in the environment. Afterwards, we spent quality time at the park, taking in the scenery. No trip to Colorado would be complete without a visit to Hazel's Beverage World, or what we like to call so Bev This is tradition. We go to Boulder to Bevwo Beverage World, and we get free wine tasting and alcohol tasting. Who does that? We do. <laughs> this place is like a Costco for liquor. And because of the altitude, you can get drunk faster. <laughs> right, Christy? Drunk faster. <laughs> Bye, Pablo. Thanks, Hazel, for the recommendation. Our plan was to bring the bottle of wine we purchased along with our snacks oh and enjoy and it, it by the pool. Raining. We tried to go swimming, and it's not. Look at that. But the universe oh. had a different plan for us. July 16th. It was our last and final day in Colorado. However, we weren't going to leave without a bang. We woke up bright and early to visit the renowned Red Rocks. 
we commenced to explore the hiking trails. Every turn would be a surprise. There was green everywhere we'd go. Sometimes I felt like I was in a forest, and other times in a desert. It was a slow, peaceful hike, and in that moment, I was truly grateful. Look at this right now. We were sad to go. It was a short trip, but filled with so much joy and genuine laughter. There are friends who come and go in your life for one reason or another. And if you're lucky, there are a couple who will stay with you for the long haul. And they, they are your true friends. Ones you can be your silly, vulnerable self with. With them, you feel safe. And that is what Isa and Christy are for me. I'm the lucky one. We're not leaving. We're just sitting here. Okay. Okay, no. With love from Colorado. Wish you were here. <laughs>